Sir Ashwini Sir is the OG. If I did it before, I would have scored even better. This is an essay question. The more I studied from it, the more dumb I felt. I have hated that subject. Easy honors for you. Hello everyone, I'm Asmi, currently a third year medical student. I scored distinction in my first year and I made a shot about it. I got a very good response on that and a lot of people asking me to do the first year MBBS guide. So here it is. I'm going to give you a briefing about what resources you can use and how to approach all the three subjects individually and like how to write in your exams. So starting off with anatomy. Now anatomy was the reason I was into MBBS that I took biology. I really liked the subject and it was also the most difficult for me but I, because my liking for it was so much that I just wanted I liked the difficult part of it so I think that was one of the major reason and driving forces that I could score 75 percent in anatomy but now that I think of it it's actually not really hard to score 75 if you know certain things and how to approach the subjects so starting off with a book in my college people would either go for BD or Vishram Singh I preferred BD Chaurasia because it is very precise and it's not very elaborate it just says a point on its own while Vishram for me was like very elaborate and it I felt like I have to learn more if I read Vishram so I stuck with BD Chaurasia then the other thing was the diagrams which are very very important everybody will tell you that anatomy diagrams are very important for that Vishram is better if you see because BD has nice diagrams but they are sometimes difficult to make on your own so you can refer Vishram for that that's what I did and one trick that like really really helped me with anatomy was by hearting the diagram I actually drew all the diagrams like topic wise essay wise and like short answer long answer like I collected all the diagrams together and I just knew that if this question comes I'm supposed to draw this this diagram label them like this this and from those labelings was where I got my content that I'm supposed to write in theory. I have like two notebooks that I collected diagrams in and like one mistake that I did, this is a star point for you. I did it in the last month when they told us that your exams are one month away. That's when I started doing this. But I feel like if I did it before, I would have scored even better honors for that say. So it's just like a notebook which has like literally all the diagrams topic wise. This is pharynx and it has the lymphatic circle, the three regions of the pharynx, the structure of pharynx, constructive muscles in pharynx. Pharynx is an essay question and all the topics that they can ask as a separate question have a diagram. So in total for pharynx, if essay comes, I'm ready with five diagrams and I think that is more than enough. That's how I wrote my paper. I've made a PDF of this notebook. It will be available on my Instagram or you can also comment down below and I will try to send it to you. Then for lecture, lectures are also very important for that. I am telling you Ashwini sir is the OG. He actually teaches on eGurukul and I had eGurukul for like last month or so but I think you can also find his lectures on Telegram. I'm not very sure of that but that man will make you fall in love with anatomy he teaches so nicely he was the reason that i started paying so much attention on diagrams because he teaches from diagrams and he makes you learn diagrams in a way that you can write your answers from that you do not feel like you are mugging something up so i will say dr ashwini sir over anyone for anatomy now the next thing how to actually approach anatomy how to study talk about gross anatomy one mistake that i did was not studying one day prior of the dissection they will start your dissection ours started with the upper limb and i'm I really regret not studying a day before. I do not regret not studying a day before for any other subject but for anatomy because if you study the topic they are going to show you the next day, you will realize that you see each and everything, each and every connection, the relation, how they are formed and everything is right before your eyes. It's nothing fictional, you are not mugging up anything, you are literally just learning in real time and that is great, it's so interesting, it makes learning so much fun, it makes anatomy so much fun, so make sure you do that, just read the topic that is coming, just know what are the structures in upper arm or like abdomen or something and it like minimizes your like your effort to study anatomy will go down to 50% if you do that if you really know how to present your answers and how to like elaborate on your points and how to draw the diagrams and how to present it I think distinction is really not a big deal. Moving on to physiology. Now physiology was a subject that I did not really pay much attention on because they say it is the easiest. For me biochemistry was the toughest. Anatomy was tough also but I liked it. Biochemistry was the kind of tough that I did not even like it and I think it was tough for me because I did not like it. Moving on to physiology, I ignored that subject for the longest of time and by the time I realized that I really need to start studying physiology also it was too late. I was referring GK Pal and I realized I could not study for the love of my life from GK Pal. The more I studied from it the more dumb I felt. So in the last month I had to switch to Sembolingam 
which was way easier but if you really are hoping for an honors or distinction i will say go for gk pal and sembilingam together because sembilingam alone is not enough to get you a distinction because i did not i got 72% in physiology and that was just last month of efforts so yeah and gaiden i tried gaiden i was not able to do gk pal so gaiden was not a question but yeah you can you will see what works for you just make sure you figure out how to study a subject at least 2 or 3 months before your university paper are there the physiology the notes i preferred and also videos were from johri they are pretty good but i will still suggest you to read gk pal or sembilingam one book on your own and then the notes for the paper presentation and stuff physiology is not as much mugging up as anatomy is it's not a hard subject if you pay attention nicely coming to biochemistry oh my god i have hated that subject so much throughout and i'm telling you it's not even difficult it's not difficult i just did not have a liking for that subject and this is how i tackled it the only book that i know about it is vasudevan i think it's a great book if you read it nicely i really like that for notes and everything uh wow <laughs> i'm forgetting the name jambul oh, yeah got it jambul got uh he actually has a whole notes for it and he also has youtube videos those videos are not even long they are like 20 to 30 minutes and he really explains whatever he has written on his notes he is enough for that i did not realize it for the longest time one essay that came on our paper too which none of us thought was important it was like investigation you would do for something and it came as an essay i studied it from his video or the youtube video i read the notes that's all i did because they never taught us this topic and i was like it's not that important but it actually came as an essay and i was able to write a lot of it i think i filled like four or five pages just from his youtube video and notes so that is a must if you do not like biochemistry but yeah biochemistry is also not that difficult nothing i am telling you first year is actually not that difficult all the difficult comes because it's your first exposure you are not Uh, sure how to study you are just you've just given me or you've just taken so many drops you're exhausted you don't want to study anymore and it's a lot of like senior junior it's a lot of stuff that's what makes first year difficult but if you like really know the approach the resources and how to study and how to represent your answers and papers it's a piece of cake it's it's, it's going to be a good journey for you and uh, if you have any doubts if you want me to make any video on any topic or if you just want to talk to me i am available on instagram i am available here on the comment section so whatever you're feeling like whatever you want to ask me i will be here for you and i hope your first year goes incredible